line with Governor State University. And we are very fortunate to be partnering with the Library of Congress. How many of you have gone to the Library of Congress website? How many of you have gone within the last six months? Library of Congress has changed. It changes dramatically. We are part of a program called Teaching with Primary Sources. ERIS is just one of the many things that we do. We are so grateful to be part of the Library of Congress. Now that Common Core says primary sources, we got them. How many people in here are familiar with computational thinking? And that's why you're here. Good. Uh, and you need to follow through with these five dispositions. But we know that ERIS uh, seems to touch on upon these in various ways because of the creation that you can do yourself with this app. It's not an app you use, it's one that you create with. In the classroom, um, I was taking a look at all the different games that are available on ERIS. And um, there's everything from um, biology games all the way to uh, PE games. Um, also, um, museums have jumped on board with ERIS, and they're using mobile devices inside the museum um, to play an ERIS game to teach students about different things inside the museum. So I think that is just an awesome thing that as students are on a field trip, they're actually using the mobile learning um, to interact with the exhibits inside the museum. So don't be shy with ERIS. So no matter what you teach, there's something out there for you. Um, and then you can create something on your own. So we pose to our students when they're starting this, or other teachers, would be, what experience do you want the person to have who's holding the iPad? What are they trying to get out of the game? Um, and what, or what do you want them to learn from it? So if we're building background knowledge, we want them to understand something in particular. Maybe it's just an experience, it's a thinking. You want them to feel empathy during the 9-11. What is it that they're looking for? I'm going to add a character. Now a character um, could be like your tour guide if you're on a virtual tour, or a character could be um, someone that you talk to along the way. So, once we're in this screen here, you can see that I can name my character up here with, um, it says unnamed character. For example, um, in our Jackie Robinson game, um, we meet Branch Ricky. So we created his character. Um, we learn about um, you know, the letter that Jackie wrote to him, etc. cetera. Um, along with the character, you can add an icon picker. Um, which will be the, the picture of the character. So you can upload any picture that you would like um, in here. And then you can also add a media picker where you can add a video or something like that in YouTube. Um, if you check out our 9-11 video, um, our students did an awesome job um, adding video um, with their characters. Um, for example, they have um, testimonies from people who survived 9-11. So that was a great experience for them to be able to add that in. All right, so we've named our character. Um, we've given the character a picture. And then we can also can have a conversation um, with our character. Um, as you can see, there's already some script added in. But if you want to add a conversation for the character, all you do is click the Add button. And then you can see that a new conversation here has popped up. Now, this is a little bit backward, because you would think that the, ca the character would speak first, or the person speaking first would go in the first box, and then the second one would be the, the person who replies. This is actually backward. All right, so we know that we can interact with characters in our game. We can have a conversation with them. Um, they can show us a picture. Um, we can see a video, etc. cetera. Um, the next thing that we can interact with is an item. So an item is something that you can actually pick up and put inside your inventory, and the player can actually visit the item in the inventory later on. So if you want the student um, to go back and reflect on uh, some items that they picked up in the game, they can simply go back to their inventory, and they can see everything that they have picked up. So for example, um, we have created a letter to Branch Ricky. Um, we actually use the Library of Congress to find um, a primary source, find the actual letter that Jackie Robinson wrote to him, and we used it as an item. So basically, we, we would name the item, so we uh, named it Letters of Branch Ricky. 
Uh, and we wrote a description, and then we would save and close. If you think this is just too complicated, don't worry. When you leave today, we're going to give you a digital copy of the manual that the team has written on how to do the things she's showing you. Right. Because actually, this is like a two-day workshop <laughs> that we walk people through. This is sort of wet your, wet your, uh, wet your whistle, wet your ideas. Mm -hmm. But as you leave, we're going to give you something.